Yo, what's poppin'? It's your boy Mr. THC, man, and I'm back at it with the banger. Now, look, you guys, this is gonna be part of my cheapest versus most expensive series where I go to different dispensaries and I try out different products, right? So last time, I tried out flour. I got the cheapest eighth and the most expensive eighth in Washington State. Today, I'm in Las Vegas, so I visited Planet 13, which, by the way, if you're in Vegas and you have to choose between Reef and Planet 13, I highly recommend you go to Planet 13. I felt like it was a way better dispensary. They had a lot more options. It was a lot more open and you were able to really move around and look at everything they had. I went down there and this time I decided that we we're gonna be reviewing their cheapest versus their most expensive cartridge. Now, before I show you the product, I just wanna give you an understanding of how much everything came up to, okay? So, for the um, half gram, the most expensive half gram, it was priced at $100 before tax, right? Now, I bought, let me see how many items we got. We got one, two, three, four, five. I have about five items here that I bought, and it was $55 in taxes. So let's just give it, you know, let's just say that every item had $10 tax to it, right? Just to say. So that means that that $100 half gram is now $110 because of the tax. Not to mention that this half gram didn't come with the battery. So I had to buy a $15 battery. Now the $15 battery doesn't really have a $10 tax to it, but just because I'm dividing up the total tax that I was charged for everything that I purchased, I just thought that I would throw it in there and add another $10 to the battery to substitute for the tax. So now we're at a $25 battery and at $110 and a half gram. So that puts us at $135 in total tax included battery included, cartridge included for the half gram, which is really pricey if you ask me. And for the cheapest cartridge, it was $55, which was a disposable cart, which means that it already came with the ability for you to use it. You didn't have to buy the battery on this, it was $55, but now adding the $10 tax that I'm adding to all the items, it was about a $65 um, cartridge right there now this is pretty expensive this is las vegas prices i know cali would have been way cheaper like never in my life have i paid over a hundred dollars or even a hundred dollars bro for a half gram of distillate like what the hell because i'm pretty sure this is distillate right i don't think it doesn't say anything about like live resin oh it is live resin my bad so not for distillate it's live resin but still man this is an expensive cartridge right here you guys so this is what the expensive one looks like right here um, it comes in this fancy box, which I'll give it to them. I mean, at least they, you know, they invested some of that money that they're charging for this product into the way that the box looks. Now, I'm going to break down for you guys the whole entire, like, THC percentage, etc., etc. You know what I'm saying? So, so the THC percentage tests at 82.61%. CBD is zero. There's no, there's no CBD in there. There's CBN 11.1%. Total terpenes, so the terpenes is actually like the flavor profile to your product, right? It's gonna determine how the product tastes and all these flavors and aromas also play a role into how the high hits you. So the terpenes are actually really, really important. This has an 8.05% terpene base, which is really high, especially for live resin. So this is supposed to be really gas. That's actually what you're paying for when you're buying this product. You're paying to get more terps, to get more flavor and more quality out of your high. And since it's live resin, it's gonna give you a way better high than the distillate. I personally hate hitting distillate, man. Like when I first started, I just, I didn't know any better. So that's just what I would do. But after trying like the live resin, I was just like, oh bro, you can't go back to just regular distillate. Now look, I'm gonna open it up and show you guys what it looks like when you open it. Okay, there's a little box in here. You see that? Boom. Wow. What? Look at that, you guys. <laughs> it looks sick. Now they have their logo right in the front. It's crazy because the guy at the shop was like, just smell it, smell it. 
Oh my God, it smells so good. It just smells like strong, strong concentrate. Now, if we're look at the back of the box, once it opens up, that's how it opens. Um, this is what the inside of the package looks like. So they're talking about their philosophy, provide only world-class cannabis products for customers. Our state-of-the-art production process utilizes THC distillate and cannabis-derived terpenes. Coupled with premium hardware is simply unmatched. This technology consistently delivers an unparalleled vaping experience. Where elegance meets perfection. Hmm. Okay. So, again, $110 right here after tax. $15, but since we divided the tax evenly through all the five items that I purchased, um, we're going to add another $10 to it and just say that it was a $25 battery after tax. $135 right here. Now, I was told that this battery was already going to be charged and ready to go. I believe this is Planet 13's, like, their branded batteries that they have there. Um, we're just going to go ahead and put this on here. And take off this top rubber piece now before i go ahead and try this product i'm actually going to open up the other product that we got and talk about the cheapest wax battery that we got so this is roots um i got the kush mango and this one i have i believe all the testing for it i got all the testing right here so mango kush oh you know what so I'm so sorry. On the last one, oh, I did tell you guys the THC percentage. Tripping. I'm high, you guys. I'm already lit. <laughs> All right. So for the mango Kush, this one tested really high in THC percentage. So THC tested at ninety one point ninety seven percent. Again, this is the cheap one. This is the fifty five dollars, sixty five dollar after tax cartridge right here. Okay. Um. Let me see. CBG, which I really don't know exactly what that cannabinoid is, it tests at 24.49 milligrams. Uh, la, 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 la. Look at the terpene percentage, though. The terpene percentage is at 1.03. So basically, this one has eight times the terpene profile than this one. So this should make for a way more better quality experience and high but this one's more convenient, you know? This one is just, you open up the package, right? Pure and simple, you got everything right here in the back. Okay, now when you open up the package, this side right here is empty, I don't know why, but everything is on this side. So you can just like use your finger to, you know, slide bad boy out there. Uh, now it comes like this, right? You just pop this open, and you're ready to go. Wow, that feels good to the finger. Oh, okay, is this, what is this, what is this? Okay, so roots. This is, I know these are disposable, but why is this like this? I don't think that your guys' logo, this is basically their logo, you guys, look. Look at this. I don't think your guys' logo should be able to come off that easy. I mean, I'm pretty sure it wasn't meant to happen like that. I'm gonna just put it back. Pretty sure it's meant to look like this, but first impression, mm, you know? But yeah, guys, here you have it. To my left side, we have Planet 13's cheapest vape cartridge that's disposable, so you don't have to worry about buying a battery. And to my right side, their most expensive premium one. $100, bro. 110 after tax. 135 after we add everything up with the battery 65 over here on my left what do you guys think would you spend over a hundred dollars on a half gram or would you guys say fuck that i'm spending 65 dollars after tax out the door and I, I don't gotta worry about the battery i'm gonna just throw this thing away when i'm done i don't know i guess we're gonna have to taste them and um really see how we feel about them we're gonna go ahead and start off with the roots. All right, let's go ahead and give this thing a shot. Now, we're gonna try to make them blink. I really wanna get the flavor. Look, we're gonna do a blinker out of them, and then we're gonna do like, you know, shorter pulls, and we'll do longer pulls. We'll kind of play with it a little bit to try to actually get the flavor flavor, you know?
I had to put it down. <coughs> For a second, I was like, when is this thing gonna blink? <coughs> wow, dude. The room just got foggy. My eyes. Bro, my soul left my body, okay? That was strong. That 91% THC, dude. It hits different. However, though, it reminded me of, like, when you hit a dirty bong. No offense. I'm not trying to talk shit. You know what I'm saying? Um, Because it wasn't that bad. Okay, hitting a dirty bong, it's a lot worse. But it still reminded me of just, like, when you take one of those rips that just leaves your throat all, like, you know, tasting all nasty and shit. Um, I think that that got really hot, too. Like, the disposable battery, it took a really long pull. So, I kept, I was feeling, like, the mouthpiece getting hotter and hotter. So, maybe it was a little too hot for the product. So, now we're going to try small pulls, medium pulls, and longer pulls to get the flavor out of those. But I need to get some water, bro. God damn. Alright, so it's been a solid 10 minutes. Um, right off the bat, guys, the flavor just wasn't there, dude. Like, I'm sorry. You guys can improve on the flavor. You know what I didn't check? Is this thing distillate? Oh, this is hash oil? Probably should have said that. Let me see. And this is the mango kush, I believe is what this strain is called. The other strain... What was the other strain called? It's called Medicine Chloe, I believe, is what the this one here is called. 100% pure cannabis oil, no additives, no fillers, no synthetic terpenes. Oh, okay. So maybe that's why it has that flavor because it doesn't have fake terps, which actually, it's honestly pretty good because fake terps are shit, you know? Like you don't want a bunch of fake terps. Um, like distillate, it's just a bunch of fake terps, but it says it's hash oil. I don't know. Is that like, I'm, I really don't know. All right. But this is, it's, ha it's premium hash oil. So the other one is, is like resin. Let's take a short pull and see, I'm gonna take a couple short pulls and just see how like it tastes and stuff. Yeah, I mean, now that I hit it more, the flavor isn't really what's off-putting. I think it's more like, it's just a very dry throat. It dries your throat up quick. I'm gonna take like a medium pull out of it. Man, but you know what though? It gets you so baked, bro. I was trying to explain something to my girl downstairs and I was saying all kinds of things wrong. I was like, dude, so look, the high is a 10, all right? The high is no joke. This, is not, this isn't for rookies right here, bro. Still gonna knock that ass out. You know, <laughs> you got $65, bro. It's a good bang for your buck, for real. Now, I want to take like a longer pull just to see at what point I feel like it's, you know, it's too much or it just makes your throat too dry or whatever. Yeah, it's definitely with like the bigger pulls that it leaves like that burn in your throat afterwards you know maybe it's just like the temperature because i'm assuming that the longer you're hitting it the hotter it's getting because it's just on and more consistent you know um but medium to small hits on this thing is the go-to to enjoy 
And if you're just trying to get like super medicated, I guess like, you know, a long, a long rip will do it for you. Bro, I am big, dude. 10 out of 10. I'm at a 10 for real. And that was the cheapest one. Now we got, you guys, the medicine Chloe. And the medicine is spelled like M-E-D-I-Z-I. -I. <laughs> it's spelled all funny and shit. <clears throat> all right. I guess we got to start it off with the blinker. <laughs> Just like we did the other one. So cheers, you guys. Wow. <coughs> That's some of the cleanest stuff I've ever tried. <coughs> Man, I'm hurting. I'm hurting. I swear, by the end of this video, I'm going to be so sleepy. <laughs> Alright you guys So The flavor Was phenomenal It's like when I coughed It didn't burn my throat That's why I kind of like Coughed It was like hmm, Wait what Like my throat didn't burn It tastes crazy I don't even know How to explain the taste It tastes like When you hit a really really clean joint um, With some good flour You know and you just hit it, and you're just tasting the flour, and you're like, damn, this flour is clean, and the flavor's on point. That was crazy, yo. What the hell? Damn. I'm going to have to hide this one for myself. I'm going to be like, here, babe, you can have this one. <laughs> just kidding. <coughs> All right. Let's take a small rip, a medium rip, and then a long rip. I'm really excited for the small rip because it tastes so good. Wow, you know it's crazy, and I don't know why this is what it tastes like to me, but it tastes like a, a lemon raspado, which is like, just Google that, <laughs> lemon raspado, I'll put a picture here, you know what I mean? That's what it tastes like, it tastes delicious. Ooh, this thing tastes crazy. I don't know, I mean, this is more for like, the premium smokers, you know, I guess this is more for like the people that are like, I need quality every single hit, which I understand, yo, because even though the THC percentage is lower, you're still going to get just as big. You just got to hit it maybe a little bit more, but every hit's going to be more enjoyable. So it comes down to like some people might rather be like, fuck it. I don't really care if the taste isn't as a one as long as it gets me more lit. Which, I'm not saying this one won't get you more lit than this. Because you just got to probably smoke out of this a little longer. But the quality of it, I mean, you're ingesting it into your body. So, I guess at the end of the day, you got to make decisions sometimes, you know. But, I think it would be worth paying a little extra to go for, like, quality. But that's just my preference. Medium pool. Dude, like, the flavor's still consistent. And it's crazy how these chirps, like, play a role with your mouth. Uh, pause, right? They, like, they don't dry your mouth up, you know? I feel like this other battery, 
it would get hot really quick and dry my mouth up. Now, I'm not sure if it's also because it's a disposable that the quality might be a little different on the battery. Or I'm not sure you know, but that was just my experience. Um, I'm going to take a long pull out of this. I'm so baked. I feel like I'm talking like this. <laughs> All right, let's get a long pull. Damn, that's fire. <laughs> that's fire. So I would definitely say they're both really good products because at the end of the day, even though this one doesn't have like the best flavor in the world, it gets you so baked. I was like baked out of my mind earlier with this one, like uncomfortably baked, you know what I'm saying? This one, however, gives you a better experience. Like it's more premium, it's probably way better for your lungs. And it just tastes better all around. I feel like the high is really good. And the more you hit it, the higher you're going to get. So it's really up to you what you want. But yeah, your boy, Mr. THC. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys smash that like button. Let me know what you guys want me to do next on this series. Cheapest versus most expensive. I'm out.